There are certain times in life whereby you feel like giving up and you feel like questioning God, your creator. Sometimes you feel like saying, why me? Why me? Sometimes also you feel like saying, why am I not attracting the best in life? Sometimes you also ask yourself, why is my colleagues, friends, brothers, sisters are doing better than you let me tell you this anyone heading towards achieving the best in life achieving success we always ask these questions if you want to know the secret of how to attract the best in life keep watching that come to Keyword for today says, Cute beating yourself up. You are not a finished product. You are a work in progress. God is still working on you. So leave your past alone. Believe in yourself. You are beautiful the way you are. When have you ever said, I like myself? I like my personality. I like whom God made me to be. Learn to appreciate yourself and be patient if you want to achieve your dreams and goals. Hello everyone, my name is Afalake Janet Oyelami. Before I go deep into today's topic, please if you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, comment, and share my video and also like the video so that I will be able to impart more life through this channel. I love to talk about today's topic most of the time because it's something that I've tried and it has worked very well for me. How to attract good things into your life without any also. But first, what is the meaning of attract? You can either attract people or things or place, etc. Attract means to pull or draw someone or something towards you by qualities you have, especially good ones. I'm not going to take much of your time again today. I'm going to go straight to the point. You might notice sometimes you desire someone to really love you, but otherwise that person hated you. Maybe sometimes you desire to have a good marriage, but otherwise it's a tough marriage you are experiencing. Sometimes as a student, you desire to have A's in exam, but otherwise you attracted C and failure. This secret on how to attract good things into your life, I have also tried it. I had also tried it and most successful people had also tried it. Here we go. Number one, if you want people to love you, you must first love yourself. Maybe you are saying your husband don't love you, your wife don't love you, your boss at work don't love you. Do you really love yourself first? Do you love your eyes the way God created you? Do you love your nose? Do you love your mouth? Do you love the kind of air God gave to you? Do you love the kind of body God gave to you? Do you really even appreciate who you are? If you don't love yourself, nobody will love you. Do you even believe in yourself that there is nothing you cannot do? Do you believe in yourself? If you don't believe in yourself, nobody will believe in you. Number two, read daily affirmation about what you really want to see in your life. For example, I listen to some of the successful people on YouTube and I copied some of the affirmation and personalize it 
into my daily life and I saw a massive positive changes in everything around me. You too can adopt this affirmation. You can say, I am highly favored. I am beautiful. I am lovable. I attract good things into my life. I am strong. You have to say this with determination. It works like magic. But you also have to be patient to see this manifestation of this affirmation. Number three, spend less time with negative people. If you have people that always complain about everything in life, spend less time with them. People that say, I'm fed up, I hate myself, I hate this government, I hate this country. You don't need to be their friend. Spend less time with them. Because the more you stay with these people, the more you hear, hear all these negative things. And the more it affects your mind. And before you know it, you too will start to say negative things about yourself. And this will not attract good things into your life. You have to see negative things as you have to see negative people like poison to your soul. It's not that you hate them, but you do not want to have poison into your life. There are a lot of ways whereby you can attract good things into your life. But at this moment, I'm going to stop at these three points for you to be able to go and digest and meditate on this very well. In conclusion, for you to begin to attract good things into your life, into your life, you got to stop to be judgmental. You don't judge people. See people the way you see yourself. Love people the way you love yourself. Then good things will begin to come to you. When you desperately focus on your goals, and you desperately believe they will come to pass, definitely you will start to attract those good things into your life. I hope this impacts you. I hope this encourages you to start to attract good things into your life. Speak to you soon.